Hello ceramics students, uh, welcome to the computer lab. Today we are here to find images uh, for our song mugs. Okay, so what I have here in front of you is the group that I am going to portray through my mugs and I'm trying to look for images and that's what we're here to do. Um, so Pistol Whip and Party Pangs is my band, or well, my brother's band actually, and I'm going <clears> to, <throat> if you're interested, take, take a listen to some of these songs. Um, you know, good, good stuff. Anyway, I need to come up with some images to go along for the exterior scraffito onto our mug. So, one of the song titles is um, that chain's gonna. So, I'm gonna need to find some images uh, having to do with chains and some other things. So, um, here they are. I did a Google search for some chains. Now, you can search for whatever you want to look for pertaining to your uh, music song choice. And what you need to do is once you find, if you're not familiar with Max, once you find an image in Google, click on it, and this image will pop up. Um, hold down the control key on your keyboard with the Mac and click on it. And this will pop up. And you can either save this image or you can copy it. All I'm going to do is copy this image. Okay, so it's on our clipboard now. Once I copy the image I want, we're going to take it into Photoshop. Click on Photoshop and it'll pop up. It might ask you for a new document. It might not. It might just pop open the application. <clears throat> if it pops open the application like this, you'll need to go to File, New. Okay. And it'll rem one thing cool about Photoshop is that it remembers the same, it remembers the uh, pixel dimensions that you copied from last time. So it'll already be set up here. So just click OK. And we're just going to edit Paste or Apple V on your keyboard. Paste. And there it is. I'm going to take my corner and scroll it out. If you click on this corner right here, you can scroll it out. Um, <clears throat> and now all we need to do is go to Image Adjustments. Because what we want to do with these images is turn them into just black and white. Okay, so what we need to do is go to Image adjustments and then threshold okay and I'll just turn it black and white like that okay now we can play around with it get some good contrast I want the shapes we want to be able just to see the shapes okay um, the black and white shapes now that's pretty good I kinda like that because I'm getting the highlights and also the, the shadows I can see the highlights here but also the deep shadows so click OK alright once we have the threshold applied that we want the black and white shapes only and you want kind of big shapes all right you don't want little bitty shapes <clears throat> let's save this file save as and for your purposes um, let's just create a folder on the desktop so make sure desktop is applied click new folder and type in your last name comma first name and then click create and there'll be a folder there and just title it um, song mug image one okay now notice the Photoshop document we want to save this as a JPEG so click down here to format go to JPEG and it'll automatically change it to JPEG up here click save and maximum is okay click OK and there it will be in the desktop folder let me go to the desktop and here's my name folder I just created it should be right in there there it is song mug image number one you can find as many images you I recommend finding at least three or four maybe two per mug um, so that you can apply some other images around it but um, find some images that pertain to your song and um, apply a threshold to it remember that's under image adjustments threshold. Okay? Good luck. Raise your hand if you need help.